Walter, it's 9.15. I know. Well, are you going to say something? Just give it a minute. Maybe it'll go away on its own. We both know that's not going to happen. <sighs> Excuse me, Joshua? Ah, oh, hey, neighbor. Hey there. Uh, Joshua, do you remember the terms of our beard agreement? Um... Pfft, no. We said you could put your beard through our ceiling between the hours of 5 and 9. Well, it's 9.15 now, and your beard's still there. Come on, give me a break just this one time. I had a real hard day, and I need to blow some steam. Joshua, I know you have a stressful job. Yeah, I do! And I know that putting your beard through a hole in my ceiling is the only thing that relaxes you. Uh-huh, it is. But if I make this exception, well, that would just make me a big pushover, wouldn't it? You got no idea what it's like, man. I gotta go to work for a living. Joshua, I'm a doctor. Yeah, well, while you're doing that, I'm out there doing real work. Every day I go to the mall and I pretend to play the self-playing piano that they got there. But today, the piano was broken, so I just sat there for about six hours staring at the piano and everyone started yelling at me, play something. And I kept telling them, I don't want to. My hands hurt so much from playing so great yesterday. And then one guy stood up and said, yeah, well, I was here yesterday and you weren't even playing piano. You were sleeping there while the piano played itself. And I said, oh, good story, jerk-off. Why don't you write a fucking book about it? And he said, I did. And then he showed me the book. And I said, nobody read that book. Nobody... Oh, what happened to my fucking beard? While you were blabbing about God knows what, I decided to take matters into my own hands. You cut my beard off! I sure did. And I gave it to my wife. Because it's the ultimate gift for the woman that already has everything. Okay, that's fine. As long as you didn't give it to your dog. Not so fast. It looks like Helen has gone and done just that. And guess what? He looks great. Look out, ladies. Dog with a beard coming through. This isn't over, Walter. As God is my witness, I will grow a beard so big and long it'll fill your entire apartment. Well, if you do that, I'll just kill you. Oh, shit. Fuck. Good night, Joshua. Helen, hand me the remote. We're going to watch the reboot of Beavis and Butthead. <gasps> Walter.